All right, my friend, we're going lo-fi today. Let's just get right at it. So what is a chord inversion? You're gonna hear the word inversions a lot. So look at this fancy little note card I made you. Let's start with C. So if you notice, I have the notes C, E, and G on that note card. So C is the root, E is the third note, and G is the fifth note to complete the C major triad. So all an inversion is is when you take the third and fifth note and put those as the lowest or the bass note, right? So that's the big simple way of doing it. So let's do three shapes here and I want you to practice these and then put it into a little chord progression. So if you put an E in the bass, that's first inversion. So when you take the third note of the triad E and put that as the lowest fundamental note, that's first inversion, okay? When you take the fifth note, the G, put that in the bass, that is second inversion. So let's just look at those two inversions, but before we do, why don't you practice this root position triad right here. So if you look at my hand, I've got the root right there in the E. We're only gonna use the E, A, and D strings to, to, uh, to show you this, okay? So here's C, E, G, see that shape? Great chord shape. All right, practice that. It's a great thing for like hand dexterity and just, it's just an awesome shape. Different flavor of a C major chord, okay? Now here's first inversion. We're gonna have E as the lowest note. So we need that on the low E string. So we're gonna go up to the 12th fret. I'm gonna use my third finger, okay? There's your E. Now right here, we have G. We have the third, or the fifth, excuse me, and then the root. So see how we have, this is first inversion of a C major chord. My guitar is uh, struggling to stay in tune, needs a string change back. So that's first inversion, okay? See that shape? No chord charts today, you got this. All right, now, second inversion, what note do we need in the bass? We need G, we need the fifth note. So, I love this shape. It's really an E major chord shape, and I like playing it with my second, second, third, and fourth fingers. So, you need to fret this G right here. See that on the third fret, okay? You get the C with your pinky on the third fret, on the A, and on the D, on the second fret, you have the G, uh, the E, e okay? So you have G, C, E. So again, here's your root position, shape, try this, C. Second, then first inversion, you roll up here to the 12th fret and you get that E is the lowest note, okay? That's why it's first inversion. You're still playing an E, an E, a G, a C, okay? Still playing all the notes in the triad. And then second inversion, just for review, is right here. You got the G in the bass, see that? So I would practice just kind of going back and forth between those three. So do this, root. First inversion, second inversion. And then when you want to branch it up from there, you can throw it into natural chord progression. So maybe do like a C to an F to a G, but instead of playing the standard C, why don't you do an inversion? Let's try a first inversion. So then try it a second inversion, C. So that's all an inversion is, all right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna link you to a video. I did a fun little quiz on this exact thing. See if you can actually pass that quiz, all right? But music, you have to connect the dots, you have to go slow. So check out the links, you know the drill. Thanks for coming to this lo-fi video and just keep going because only you can stop you. I will see you in the next video, peace.